Hi everyone and welcome to the Victor's Guide to ServiceNow episode number 29. Been a while since I made any videos and sadly like all of you other guys and girls I guess we got hit by the corona and had to reprioritize some of our lives I guess. But we're back and hopefully I can start making videos again for this. So today we're going to look at a custom flow action I have built that is using regex to find matches and return the results. And of course this one was built in the Orlando release. So who am I? If you don't know who I am, my name is Jelvan or Goran aka the Witch Doctor Lundquist. I've been around in ServiceNow community or ServiceNow world since 2014. First as a customer, then as a client, or not client, uh, a partner, and now for the last year I've been working at ServiceNow internally with their instances. Whoops, I'll switch back. Uh, I won't go through the stuff I did. I love being at the community as much as I can, the Slack channel, helping people out with videos and stuff like that. If you want to connect with me, just feel free to somewhere. I, I hate this. I do this in every video and I always forget it. You can see my information. Just connect to me through LinkedIn, YouTube, what else? GitHub. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. And Twitter, of course, if you have any questions or just want to talk about ServiceNow. And I'll try to help out if I can. Uh, also, did a book for almost one and a half year ago called The Witch Doctor's Guide to ServiceNow. I just put down all, most of the knowledge I had about ServiceNow, the steps I did that wasn't correctly and all that stuff, trying to help you guys out. It's still around, I usually have a slide more about it, but you can go to Amazon and just Google it there and you'll find it. Let's see if it might be something for you. So today is a very short agenda, is the custom Red X action. So let's skip the PowerPoint and let's go to the instance. And I'll do it like that. And I have forgotten to do my thing. Just give me a second so I can actually see what I'm doing in my other monitor as well. And here we go. So basically, I'll just go into the, the flow designer. And if you have the SN utils, you can download it as a Chrome. Uh, Util, you can actually just hit slash and FD for open up the, the flow designer, which is really nice. So, just go to actions, and I actually start building a, a scoped one, but it's so hard to put that one on the, the share, so I actually made it in the global instead. So let's let's take a look at this one. It basically has three inputs. Of course, you have the string that you want to search. You have the pattern, the regex pattern. And of course, you can have a global search. That means that you don't want to just check for one uh, match. There might be multiple and you want to get all of them. So those are the three stuff that you can put in as an input. Then we're looking at the script, basically just taking the inputs and then when you look at the script down here, you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically just fetching the inputs. Then depending if we have the global search or not, we want to add the global flag. So either I'll create a regex with G and G, G <laughs> as a flag or only G. Now, I'm using the regex because since we get the pattern as a string and not as a regex uh, pattern, I needed to do this. It took me quite a while to actually find out find how to do that, but it's working at least. Then I'll just do a, a search, go through the the input pattern, uh, the input, and try to match that against the regex pattern. All of the hits I get is saved in this array. Then I only have three outputs basically. Is a match, which is basically a true or false. Uh, matches found, which is an array with all the matches. Sometimes you want to loop through them, sometimes you don't. And of course, most of the time you're only looking for one. And 
So you don't need to do like a for each loop in your flow. I'll just return the first match we find as well as a separate uh, output. And basically you can see you got the stuff down here. So it, it, it's not really harder than this. And just to show you how it works, let me just get the stuff I actually searched for. So I'll so this string you can see have incident one number and one more. So I'll just steal that one. I'll I'll do like this. Give me two seconds. Where did, did that pop up? I'll just paste it in somewhere. And I'll just steal the oops. Come on. Oh, wrong screen. And I'll just steal the pattern as well. So I got that for test. It's so easier to just have them. I should have done this before the video, of course. Um, so, so let's go and test this one just for fun. So I'll see test. So first, I'll paste in the pattern. So this is looking for these three letters and then seven digits. This is what this pattern does. Let's just steal the, the string as well. Copy that one, paste it in here. And let's not check the global search. And now we should only find this one, which ends with 200. I'll hit run. And let's view it. You can see this is result. The first match, we got true, there is a match. And you can see the array only contains one. Now, if we just check the global search and run the same test, we should find two. So let's take a look at that one. Go back, look at the steps. And here you can see first value, it's true, we found matches. And of course, we have both in the array. And then, of course, for the last one, if I just delete, then I'll just do something like that. I'll just face palm that one and we'll just run the test. And look. Let's see, we'll scroll down. One, two, three. Oh, look, <laughs> I inserted my, my after all oh, that. That's typical. Let's just do that again. I'll do like that. There we go. Now let's run it. Oh my god. So let's scroll down again. And now you should see we didn't find any match. It's, it's false. So that's how it works. If you want to use it in a flow, it's basically the same. Things like with my testing, you can have this one and then you just can go in, action, regex. I tried to done some uh, good documentation down here what you should do. For example, when you do the pattern, you should not include the slashes. So back here we can see that the incident, we can take, let's do it like this course there oh, come on my clicking is not correct today there we go short description and the pattern we're looking for is the magic here we are so we're looking at the short description if we can find something like the instant number so and uh, let's let's do this for fun I'll just move it out here and I'll just trash the rest because we always know Murphy's law if I have something extra it will mess it up so let's go back and just find something and if we take a look at this one I don't think we'll just add something here. 
means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that. So if we use this one, we should find a hit. So let's go to the flow designer. Let's do a test. The record we're looking for. Run. Let's take a look at the view. It's complete. And here we can see we found a match. So this is how you can use it. And then of course, if you're using that to loop through multiple, you can of course do something like do the check and then we'll just do flow logic for each and then you could actually oh hold on did i forget to do something what happened here i don't have the outputs oh sorry let's let's do that then it hasn't been saved that's weird huh so create output i want to have uh, is match which should be a uh, true or false we want to have matches found which is an array with strings and we'll call that match and then we want to have first match and that one is called first match Match. Match is found. Match. There we go. Then exit that and we'll just is match should be there. Match is found. First match. And we'll save that one and publish that one. So let's do it again and see if it works. There we go. So let's go back to my if logic. I wonder if I need to. Let's just do like that. And open it up again to make sure we have. I'll ditch this one. Action regex. I'll throw in text to search. We wanted to go to the short description, the pattern, no, not that. Copy, and I'll paste that one in. There we go, done, and then let's see. And now we can see we found the stuff here. For each, you should be able to drag that one in there. And then you can do your loop for each record you have done. So there we go. Took a little bit longer. Had to show you I missed the, the outputs, which is a good way to learn, I guess. Uh, two, sec two things before I leave. You can find this stuff either on my GitHub repository under Goran Lundqvist slash YouTube. And we have episode 29. From there I have the code I have in the, um, the script itself. If you want to download this, I have actually put it as well on the share down here. So you can actually download the whole action as an update set and then start using it as well. So feel free to, to use it how much you want and of course to make it even better than I have done it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.